Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, got the goods. Got the uh, Corvette rebuild kit right there. So let's, uh, we'll head over to Britton's house. Uh, <laughs> I brought you the, the Corvette fix um, kit. Red Bulls. <laughs> okay. Bubble gum and I some band-aids. I think he's burning me right now or yep. burning my car right now. Yep, as you guys know, I'm a huge Ford guy. <laughs> I don't know what Britton was thinking on a, on a Corvette, but we were just here to check it out and make fun of her just a little bit. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna set this down over here. There and uh, and let's, let's check this thing out. So uh, 86 Corvette C4, um, red, I love red, um, good color. And uh, there's a few little paint things that I've noticed in. But uh, you know what, I think any running vet, you know, it's gotta be worth what, 2,500 bucks? You know, definitely a good deal. I think twelve hundred dollars. Can you even buy a running car, running driving car for like twelve hundred bucks, and the Corvette on top of that? So I think she's, I think she's onto something here. Yes. But uh, Did you see the holes? Yeah, got a couple holes. We got holes. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the headlight mechanism or something. <laughs> well, and it looks like too. If you look close, I don't know if you guys are gonna see that. You got some sanding marks right in that headlight. So I wonder if he uh, somehow oh, yeah. got that headlight up on there too. This hood's been painted for sure. I don't know, it's old. It's what, 86? So it's 34 years old. What do you guys expect? It's an old car. Creepy dude that uh, had it before. Probably didn't take all that great a care of it. But anyway, yeah, let's pop a hood. Let's check it out and okay. start it up. Maybe do a quick cold start. You ready? Yeah. Oh, we got a smoker. Good smoker. Huh? Doesn't this thing have like 180,000 miles it's on it or something? Like 177. Oh, the old 350's tired. What did I do? <laughs> wow. Uh, no worries. Oh, no worries. We can figure that do out. You want to pop that hood? Yeah, let's pop the hood, check it out, and then uh, maybe we'll go for a quick burn in it. So yeah, a couple leather stripping stuff. Maybe we ought to get it to a little hole in the carpet, a little worn. <laughs> and another typical, Britain can't open the hood. I know. <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. I think it does have an exhaust leak. I can kind of hear it. So you can? Yeah. I like the chrome valve covers. Yeah, it looks good. Huh? Yeah, got a little belt squeak. You got the weeds. <laughs> dude, dude, for sure, it had it parked under his mom's tree, living at home. His mom. <laughs> yeah, if he's watching, sorry, dude. I got to make funny a little bit. You ready? One, two, three. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's go for a quick it? burn. No. <laughs> what? I'm a Ford guy. Why would oh, I want to drive it? Whatever, Cody. It was funny because on the test drive, he was like, "Put the put the pedal to the floor, punch it." I was like, "I am." <laughs> it's just not bad. T typical Chevy owner. I punch know. it. Punch it. You see in the background, I got this 08 GT. Uh, it's one of my buddies. He's. Uh, having some squeaky noises in the front end i'm just checking it out for him he had it lowered had some motorsport k springs put in and it is just a squeaky mess so i'm driving this uh today he also has offered it to me he wants to sell it a couple little things real quick you know bumpers a little faded that's typical um one thing i do really like about this car i do like the way the wheels fit and the way they do uh, look. Kind of considering it. He gave it to me for the day. I think he needs some spring isolators real quick. But uh, we're going to check it out. I've been driving it. Runs, drives awesome. I think it has 140,000 miles on it. So I need a good daily. And it's red, my color. So that'd be uh, a fun little, fun little beater. Something I could maybe do uh, some 
upgrades and stuff on the channel what do you guys think put it down in the comments uh should i buy it you guys like the the sm197 body let me know but in the meantime it. you should buy it <laughs> i like it in the meantime we're gonna take this uh what what do we call it what what's call a nickname it we gotta give it a nickname uh, karen karen <laughs> we don't like karen the karens of the world <laughs> This Karen. Karen. Okay, it's Karen. Done deal. We're going to take Karen, uh, go spray her off, see how the paint really is, see what we can do to, to shine her up. Hopefully uh, clean it up and make some money on it. Hopefully. That's, a, that's Ideal. the plan, that's right? The, that's the plan. We'll see what happens. All right. Guys, we got it cleaned. We washed it. I even already chewed a piece of bubble gum and fixed it. Oh, Cody, there's, there's, there's your shirt. Sorry. There's what? I thought it was a beetle. There was a bug on your shirt. We're <laughs> You scared the daylight sorry, out of me. Sorry, there was a. Sorry. I got stung by a bee the other it's day. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, there's your first your first fix. Mm -hmm. I chewed it up earlier. Thanks stuck so it on much, right Cody. after we got done washing it. Thank you so much. Um. Anyway, this car is gonna be for sale. She's gonna sell it. Get it waxed up. Get it posted. And uh, I think he you'll be. He washed it for me too. Yeah, we washed it. Thanks. <laughs> it's a little bit cleaner than you saw a little bit ago. But wax it, wash it, one more time maybe. And then wax it and then post it get rid of it oh That's, yes you know send it to send it to the next guy all right stick with the mustangs hey guys what's up just uh coming over to gary's house real quick he uh, got some upholstery done on his blue 67 mustang uh just swinging in he got his uh, little room clean check this out guys he got uh mustang stuff all over the walls and pretty sweet Got some pictures of some past cars that he's built. Stuff like that. A little model car. But anyway, um, I'm here to see uh, see these guys. These things are looking good. He just got them reupholstered. I'm um, getting ready to go in the 67. We're going to check it out and see what progress he's able to make. But he's got fenders on. He's got a hood hinge on. Check out. He's got all the wiring in under the dash. I don't know if you guys can see that too well. Let's see if this light will go on. Got all the wiring up in there. He's got the dash pad on. He's got the mirror. It's looking pretty good. Got to grab a couple jets for the new car that we put on the other day. Just a quick update on that. We'll be doing another little bit more next week, getting it running, getting it fired up for the first time. Hey, I'm in the shop today. Got the Cobra and got the Celine. We got to get this pushed out real quick. We're gonna put the quarter windows in today. Use quarter windows. We're grabbing the the goo out of them. Got a butyl tape put on, and then we'll get those stuck in the car. I'll get those windows cleaned up real quick. Make sure they're nice and clean before we stick them on the car. But got my uh, friend Gary, '67 Mustang. He uh, he's here helping me. I've never done this this before, so uh, got that one. Looks like pretty clean. We'll get it uh, some Windex, wipe it down. All right, guys, got the quarter windows in, got the uh, weather strip in on the rear hatch. So about ready to call tonight. It's getting pretty dark. Getting excited, one step at a time. Anyway, uh, I'll end this video there. So like, subscribe. I'd send me a picture of your car on my Instagram at 50 motors and uh, let me know what you've done to it and maybe uh, I'll pick a couple and we'll we'll discuss in my next video. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a good night and we'll see you later. Thanks.